Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Samar Ajawi. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa met today Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II of the United Kingdom and Northern Ireland and the United Arab Emirates Vice President, Prime Minister and Ruler of Dubai, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum at the Endurance Village of the Windsor Great Park. The meeting was held on the occasion of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and his, Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II's attendance of the International Royal Windsor Horse Show. His Majesty also met with Andrew, the Duke of York, and the British Conservative Party politician, Minister of State for Europe and Americas at the Foreign and Commonwealth Office, Mr. Alan Duncan, and Sheikh Fahad bin Falah bin Hathleen. His Majesty the King expressed thanks and appreciation to Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II for inviting him to attend the annual show, pointing out to the two kingdoms' rich heritage and cultures. His Majesty the King exchanged cordial talks with Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II and Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid on Bahrain's outstanding relations with the United Kingdom and the United Arab Emirates, hailing them as long-standing ties based on mutual respect and coordination at all levels. Talks also focus on the importance of promoting and spreading such a deep-rooted sport locally and globally. His Majesty the King and Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II witnessed part of the International Endurance Race held at the Windsor Great Park over 120 kilometer with the participation of His Majesty the King's representative for charity work and youth affairs, Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sport, and President of the Bahrain Olympic Committee and Captain of the Royal Endurance Team, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, alongside a number of horse riders from the United Arab Emirates, as well as from GCC and European countries. His Highness Sheikh Nasser ranked first place at the Royal in Windsor Horse Show and was congratulated by His Majesty the King, Her Majesty the Queen and the UAE Vice President on this sport achievement. Then His Majesty the King bade farewell to Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II. In a statement, His Majesty the King expressed pleasure for the attendance of UAE's Vice President and his support of all jockeys, affirming that the race is an opportunity for the race's participants to gain experiences. His Majesty the King was welcomed at the Royal Windsor Racecourse by the Royal Endurance Team Captain Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa and senior organizers of the race. His Highness Sheikh Nasser presented a briefing on the stages and the distance of the race, as well as the number of participating horse riders. His Majesty King Hamad lauded the tremendous efforts exerted by His Highness Sheikh Nasser to promote the popular equestrian sport. His Majesty the King praised the role played by the Royal Endurance Team in promoting the sport and hailed its keenness on participating in various regional Arab and international competitions and championships. The representative of His Majesty the King for Charity and Youth Affairs, Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, President of the Bahrain Olympic Committee and Head of the Royal Team, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, presented the win to His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, lauding Bahrain's achievements in all areas, especially the endurance sport. His Highness Sheikh Nasser affirmed that the presence of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II of the United Kingdom and Northern Ireland, and the UAE Vice President, Prime Minister and Ruler of Dubai, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, is the biggest honor and win for all the participants in the race, and had a positive impact in achieving the first place in the race. His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa said that the follow-up of His Majesty the King to the race gave him a strong impetus to achieve first place in the race and overcome all the challenges that face him in the race. His Highness also said that the UAE Vice President, Prime Minister and Ruler of Dubai, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, predicted two months before the race that he will win the race in the Windsor. His Highness said that the race was strong and difficult due to the great competition by the various horsemen participating in the four stages of the race, saying that the remarkable achievement in the race is in the interest of the Bahraini endurance team and gives them a strong impetus to achieve more achievements in the upcoming tournaments. His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa said that the success of the festival is a great opportunity to highlight Bahrain's present and past achievements.
The first Deputy President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sport, His Highness Sheikh Khaled bin Hamad Al Khalifa, congratulated His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa on the occasion. Lauding the presence and follow-up of His Majesty the King to the show, His Highness said the victory of His Highness Sheikh Nasser, ranking first place at the Royal Windsor Horse Show, enhances the presence of Bahraini endurance in international races, especially in the prestigious Royal Windsor race. His Highness Sheikh Khaled lauded the high performance of his brother, which reflected his great skills in the sport. Indonesia's President Joko Widodo received the first Deputy President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sport, President of Bahrain Athletics Association and Honorary Chairman of the Bahrain Mixed Martial Arts Federation, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, on the sideline of His Highness's visit to the Republic of Indonesia to attend the 12th edition of the Brave Fighting Championship, which is hosted by the Indonesian capital Jakarta. His Highness Sheikh Khaled conveyed to the Indonesian President the greetings of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and his wishes of abundant health and happiness to him and to the Republic of Indonesia, further progress and development. His Highness Sheikh Khaled delivered a letter from His Majesty the King to the Indonesian President that concerns boosting the bilateral relations between the two countries in various fields and further develop these relations in a manner that serves common interest of both sides. In addition to His Majesty's invitation to President Widodo to visit the Kingdom of Bahrain. Sheikh Khaled expressed pleasure in visiting Indonesia and said he's looking forward to bolstering the bilateral ties at the sports level through the Brave Fighting Tournament that was launched from the Kingdom to be a Bahraini championship with a global style in the sports of mixed martial arts for professionals. His Highness thanked the Indonesian President for his hospitality and reception and for hosting the Brave Championship, citing it as a reflection of Indonesia's efforts to support the sports sector. President Widodo asked His Highness Sheikh Khaled to convey his greetings to His Majesty the King and his wishes of continuous progress and advancement. He also regarded His Highness's visit to the Republic of Indonesia as a means of improving relations between the two countries and their people, and wished His Highness and his accompanying delegation a pleasant stay. Under the patronage and presence of the first Vice President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, President and Honorary President of the Bahrain Mixed Martial Arts Federation, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the 12th edition of the Brave Fighting Championship under the slogan Legend, with participation of 30 players from 16 countries. Also present were the Indonesian Minister of Youth and Sports, Iman Narawi, President of the Indonesian Martial Arts Federation, Mr. Fumi, Bahrain's ambassador to Indonesia, Mohammed Ghassan Sheikho, and a number of senior officials. His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa expressed pride at the efforts and facilities offered by Indonesia to organize the Brave Fighting Championship, which clearly reflects its interest in the success of the event on its territory. His Highness noted the directive of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa to continue to work to highlight Bahrain sport in a way that enhances its global presence on the sports map and its reputation and prestige internationally. His Highness Sheikh Khaled bin Hamad Al Khalifa also appreciated the outstanding efforts of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa for their support to the sports sector in the Kingdom. Also His Highness Sheikh Khaled raised the steps taken by His Majesty the King's Representative for Charitable and Youth Affairs Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, President of the Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, to promote Bahrain sports, asserting that the follow-up and support of His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa for the championships contributed to the continuation of the championship's success and excellence. His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa said that the efforts are continuing to move Bahrain's vision of mixed martial arts, adding that this is in the interest of enhancing the strong presence of the Kingdom of Bahrain in this sport at the global level through the Brave Fighting Championship. His Highness said that the 13th edition of the Brave Fighting Championship will be held in Belfast, Northern Ireland, within the program set for the tournament. His Highness also commended the level of combat and the performance of the players in the championship. His Highness Sheikh Khaled bin Hamad Al Khalifa also attended the main fight between fighter Alder Alderov and fighter Brian Hoy.
The Minister of Cabinet Affairs, Mr. Mohammed bin Ibrahim Al Mutawa, welcomed tonight at Bahrain International Airport the Minister of Foreign Affairs of the Republic of the Philippines, Alan Peter Caetano, who arrived on an official visit. The Minister of Cabinet Affairs welcomed the visit of the Foreign Minister of the Philippines to the Kingdom, noting the continuous development of the relations between the two countries in the light of the strong relations between the two countries and the joint interest in developing them and upgrading them in various fields. For his part, the Philippine Foreign Minister expressed his happiness to visit the Kingdom of Bahrain, praising the deep-rooted relations of friendship and cooperation between the two countries. Also present at the airport were the Under Secretary of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs for International Affairs, Sheikh Abdullah bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, and the Ambassador of the Philippines to Bahrain, Alfonso Ferdinand. The General Conference for the Arab League for Education, Culture and Science, ALCO, concluded its 24th session, which the Minister of Education, Dr. Majid bin Ali Al-Naimi, head of the Bahraini delegation. The Council invited the member states to participate in the celebration of the Kingdom of Bahrain's centennial of formal education to be organized during 2019 and 2020, including a number of activities and workshops to be organized by ALEXO. The conference also adopted a number of resolutions aimed at developing the work of the organization in the coming period, including continuing efforts in digitizing the intellectual production of the organization, publishing it through electronic and traditional communication media. On behalf of the Deputy Prime Minister Sheikh Khalid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, the Labor and Social Development Minister Mr. Jamil bin Mohammed Hamidan inaugurated the Bahrain Pre-Employment Training and Education Expo organized by Meadpoint and in the presence of the Chairman of the Board of Directors of the organizing company Sheikh Anura bin Khalifa Al Khalifa as well as a number of members of the Representative Council, employers and heads of training and educational institutions. The Minister commended the Deputy Prime Minister's patronage of the event that reflects the government's increasing interest in quality education and training adapted to the needs of the labor market. The Minister also noted such expos are in line with the objectives of the Kingdom that aim for linking education and training outputs to the needs of the labor market, which is witnessing a growth due to the government's support of various production sectors. During her speech at the event, Sheikh Anoura bin Khalifa Al Khalifa said, that the expo comes in response to the directives of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa to invest in human resources, especially the Bahraini youth, and prepare them scientifically and professionally for the job market. At the end of the ceremony, the Minister awarded the organizer and the speakers in recognition of their contribution to the event's success.